didn't quite feel Binge Pipe can stream games? Maybe. Here's You Don't Know Jack. Binge Pipe. Because if you stop watching, you may stop existing. I'm Cookie Masterson, and I have no idea why they call them boyfriend jeans. These things are way too tight on me. Everyone in? I didn't think you knew this many people. And since we've got an audience, how about we make this interesting and add an audience bonus to every question? The more audience members pick the right answer, the less bonus money goes to the players. But if the audience screws it up, there's going to be a lot of cash on the line for that right answer. Okay, it's time. Time for question one. First on the docket, time of death. Which of these points on the calendar is named after a man who was assassinated? January, October, July, or May? Okay, what'd you pick? The month of July is named after Julius Caesar, who met his end through numerous backstabbers. Caesar is why I don't trust any of my co-workers, just my cats. Et tu, kitty? Et tu, mayonnaise? And how'd the audience do on that one? Looks like a good chunk of this audience is just jabbing buttons at random. That means I'm dealing out bonus cash for that right answer. Buy yourself something nice. Behold, PETA party, a big black bug bit a big black bear that, oh, sorry, you, you caught me in the middle of my vocal warm-ups. Uh, well, let's just, let's get on with the question. I'll find a way to stay warm. Which provisions would a principled PETA person not put in their PETA pocket? Okay, falafel, 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 hummus, 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 shawarma, 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 tabula, tabula, tabula. Who picked what? You falafel for that? PETA stands for People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals. Shawarma involves chopping them up and spinning them over a flame, which may be delicious, but isn't exactly polite. Do they make tofuorma? Why don't we do it with cream? I call this one... Steving is the hardest part. Except for something even harder like a dis or dat. I'm gonna read off seven movies, all featuring beloved character actor Steve Buscemi. For each one, tell me if Steve Buscemi's character is alive at the end of the movie, or Steve Buscemi's character is dead by the end of the movie. Answer quick, you'll only have a few seconds to choose between Buscemi lives, or Buscemi dies. And you're all doing this together, so focus up. Ready? Let's go. Reservoir Dogs. Armageddon. Monsters Inc. The Big Lebowski The 
It turns out most people are average. Weird. But player two... Uh, tough one. You failed to live up to my already very low expectations. Binge Pipe has detected a suboptimal player experience. Looks like it's screw time. That is the truth, Cookie. Screwing during a question makes life a little tougher for all the other players in a variety of enjoyable ways. And you'll receive a monetary bonus for anyone who answers incorrectly. Mm-hmm. I couldn't have said it better myself, apparently. Just one more benefit of your Binge Pipe membership. Oh, here's a good one. There's a spoiler at the end of this question. Lenny dies at the end. Oh, crap, I read the wrong card. That was supposed to go at the end of the question. Um, okay, how about this? What classic work of literature did I just ruin? For whom the bell tolls, of mice and men, gone with the wind, or as I lay dying? Okay, who chose what? Yep, George kills Lenny to save him from a worse fate. Yeah, it's a sad ending that is forever burned in my brain because of the weird amount of Looney Tunes shorts that parody that scene. It's time for... My love language is my love of language. If you're Dead Sea scrolling through dating profiles, what dating app are you on? E-Hebrew, OK Coptic, Arabic Mingle, or Coffee Meets Sanskrit? OK, what'd you pick? The Dead Sea Scrolls are ancient religious texts written primarily in Hebrew. E-Hebrew, where you can stop by and say shalom to fellow singles. <laughs> Round one is history. This leaderboard is brought to you by Binge Pipe. Currently, these players are tied for the lead. And down here, these players could use a little help and there's no shame in that. So here come the screws. And remember, round two screws screw even harder. And you'll net more cash for each player that answers wrong. So don't forget to use them. The rest of you better answer fast if you don't want to be screwed. Oh, and uh, remember, questions are worth twice as much in round two. You can take that to the bank. Six trombones is not a parade. Coming up next, bless you got served. Which hip-hop move best demonstrates the proper hygienic way to sneeze in public as set out by the Center for Disease Control and Prevention? The Dougie, Popping and Locking, The Humpty Dance, or Dabbing? So who got it? If you don't have a tissue on hand, the CDC recommends you sneeze into your upper sleeve, which is what it looks like someone is doing when they're dabbing. It's so lame when adults try to look cool by not getting phlegm everywhere. Hey, question. We'd like to offer you a chance to gain some content while also losing some other content. Would you like a question where the answer rhymes with orange, or a question where the answer rhymes with purple? Contribute your percentage of the choice, now.
Here are the consequences of your choices. And now, we'll fulfill our promise and deliver your content. Mon béret a rétréci. Sept. And now, a question where the answer rhymes with orange. Which of these is the name of a real mountain in southeast Wales? Glorange, Glorange, Warange, or McGlorange? Well, well. Player 8 decided to screw. Say, can you answer a moving target? I love this part. Oh, don't be ridiculous. Blorange is a real place, and it really rhymes with orange. But if you visit, I wouldn't drink the Blorange juice. Excellent screwing, player eight. Have some cash. Twas then I learned to heed the winds of it. This one's known as... Who you gonna call? Ghost Disruptors. What text message is the best indication that your soon-to-be Uber driver is a Ghostbuster in the Ecto-1? Your driver Peter is here in a Volvo. Your driver Egon is here in a Subaru. Your driver Raymond is here in a Cadillac. Or your driver Winston is here in a Volkswagen. And how do we do? The iconic vehicle known commonly as the Ecto-1 is a 1959 Cadillac. And whether it's driven by a male or a female Ghostbuster, I think it deserves five stars. Na, 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 na. There is no hiding from... Type equals squiggly bracket leadership comma global squiggly bracket. Except all cookies don't clear your cash. It's time for data mining. It's time to let Binge Pipe do their dastardly deeds. Here's the data we scraped. Kate McKinnon, Nachamin, Navigieri, Zumbundestag, Vas East, Austerity. Whose search history have we acquired? Margaret Thatcher, Angela Merkel, Indira Gandhi, or Benazir Bhutto. Let's see how that shook out. Yep, this seems to belong to Angela Merkel, German chancellor and widely regarded as one of the most powerful people in the world. She's also been played by Kate McKinnon on SNL. Thank you for helping us identify your global leaders. This information will help us with Binge Pipe's next phase. Feast your eyes upon this. Walk of Twitter fame. Remember Damn Daniel, you know, from the internet? If Daniel took his infamous white vans to the Hoover Dam, which is located at the border of two U.S. states, I guess you could say, Damn, Daniel, back at it again in Arizona and Nevada, Nevada and Utah, Utah and Colorado, or New Mexico and Arizona. So what'd you pick? The Hoover Dam is located at the Arizona and Nevada border. That's a big dam, Daniel. You made it to the attack. When you see an answer that matches the category, tap it on your device. The faster you pick a right answer, the more cash you make. 
and more than one answer can be right. But each time you're wrong, I'm taking some cash away, and be careful. We may miss them for you! It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. The shape of you. I sure hope you're in good mental shape. Good luck. Six wins! Congratulations, Player Six. You're the big bad winner. Maybe one day we won't need to have winners and losers and we can all be equals. <sighs> anyway. You don't know Jack! Goat Mayor. By studying the flight pattern